second, but uh, we have major storms coming. That's what's the last through the day and through the night. And they're forecasting hurricane for storms. Great. Once it starts raining, it's only going to get worse than the wind. Every project like 78 mile an hour sustained winds. We've got to see more tornadoes. So yeah, it's going to get hairy here in a little while. So I'll work as long as I can today until the wind starts blowing all the rain into the shop. What I can do. So, hi there, young fella. How you doing? What's up, man? How's everybody doing? So, happy Easter. Glad to have you guys here this morning. What's that? Why ain't y'all church? But well, we all know why nobody's like church. Why ain't go to church? Remember last week we started working on uh, Gladius, and all we did was forge out the profile of the blade. We had to start forging bevels or anything like that. I got bored this week, waiting on stuff for my grinder. So I started forging the bevels out. So now, we have our medial ridge. You see the medial ridge in here. Look down. Our bevels. Forged out. And I've gotten three quarters of the way down the sword. I still got that much more to go. So far, Good. Okay, right. not too thin, so I'm gonna do some grinding. I want to take some mass off of it, so you light it up. So I'm not gonna pour just super, super thin. Then that way I won't screw it up when I start grinding. Take the mass off. So we're gonna flip it around. We're gonna stick this end in the forge, and we're gonna get to work. We're being lazy. about two hours to get to that point on the bevels and I burned my hand pretty good right there in the webbing made it pretty uncomfortable to hold the uh, hammer so I haven't went any further with it or else the bevels will be done and we'll be in there grinding it's after the bevels I'm going to forge I should finish the bevels pretty quickly there's only that much left you know finish those up then I got to do the tank then the blade transition to the tank forge that as close as I can and then from there, we grind to work. So I'll probably do some start grinding on this week, and then, then next Sunday we'll pick up the live stream for where I, wherever I'm at. So finish it up. Yes, I'm glad it's worked bronze. They were. It's hard now. I got calluses there. It was a deep burn. I don't ever put anything on my burns. I'm an idiot. I should. I got another one there in the palm of my hand. It's healing. Ah, Ben Toombs is here. What's up, man? But about the grinder. I gotta say, as much of a fucking headache as it was getting that thing and all the pieces here, which I still haven't got all this contact with. All in all, though, that's a badass grinder. I like that grinder. It is a really good kit. I mean, I can't knock that. It's damn good quality. Uh, awesome quality for the price. It's just, God, I wish it wouldn't have went so bad getting it. And I'd be shouting his name from the damn rooftops on all the pages and stuff people ask about grinders. You know, and I, I, I still might. I want to think that maybe this is just a fluke incident because everything got screwed up all at one time. 
with people rushing to stuff, trying to get panicky, you know, because of the coronavirus and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know which way to go with it, but I am going to say that it is a badass crime. The old grinder's gone. I don't have it. A friend of mine's got that. He and his father are getting the blade smithing in. They needed a grinder. So I cut them a really good deal on it. So I'll come for a lot less than the amount of money I put in there. You build it, let alone the labor of building it, you know? He couldn't go buy the motor and the D plate for the price that I sold the grinder to him. So he, he got a deal for sure. told me, oh, I'm going to regret getting rid of it. I wish I had a second grinder. And they're right. I regret getting rid of it. I do wish I had a second grinder. But the fact remains, my shop's not big enough for an extra grinder in there, plus workspace. Got too much shit in there. So, I mean, I had, I had to do what I had to do. I had to get rid of it. Get it out of the way. Plus, I can always build up. everything nice and even. It, it stops you from over moving the metal and it stops you from putting the metal in the wrong spot. You know what I'm saying? If you start trying to forge it on bevels all the way down the piece all at one time, you're going to end up with a wonky, curvy bit blade. You go to straighten it, you're going to see this metal here. You're going to want to draw that here. In reality, if you started to tip towards your way back, you'd be drawing that metal in the opposite direction. So it just puts things in its place a lot easier in my head. It keeps nice and clean. And you know what metal is for what. You know what I mean?
unless you're making a Chris. Personally, if I was making a Chris, I would forge it perfectly straight and then just smack it over my horn where I want it bent. And once I get it shaped like I want, I will grind the bevels in. I would not try to force the bevels into a Chris. That shit would be hard. I about bet you that's tough. Evan, Evan's leaving. We'll see him. Dog bones in the house. What's up? James Jones, happy sir. All right, I got the bevel material pulled out where I want it. And switch hammers. Dress them up. See how uneven they still are right here. Throw even that up. On a spath. Yeah, board, you board, you are right. Speargrass, you're right. Politics, taxes. I just, the only thing I don't like about that, it's not that I don't like it, I think it's a good practice for the way society is. Don't discuss that shit, folks, because it causes fights, arguments, malice, things like that. But what my wish is, why weren't we taught how to have a conversation about it without resulting to the anger and frustration and the hatred? That's my issue. We should talk about stuff like that, but we've got to learn how to talk about it in a way where we're not at each other's fucking throats because we disagree. You know what I'm saying? And as a society, we just don't know how to do that. I, me included, we have us here. We all are guilty of it. It was 16165 BC. There I was staring down a thousand Philistines. All I had on me was my trusty gladius, so I slew them all with my flip flop and a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> hey, but you are the man. Thank you, brother. I am going to try to get some of this metal scale off. 
before I get here and fly around. That's what burnt me. Yeah, that's what burnt me. Yeah, that's what burnt me. very low. That's right. Hit the like button. Bunch of buggers. We did our Easter egg hunt yesterday because the weather's going to be so crappy today. Ben's not as short as we all make out to be. Ben's over five foot tall. Just barely. Noise. Noise, James Jones. I'm making noise. Chewy, tell your wife I said hello. Glad she's watching.
part with. Right like that. You can still like G4 drive it. What I'm working on right now is the Picasso area, end of the bevels. Gladius doesn't isn't sharp all the way to the hill. It's got a Picasso. So I don't know what just happened, but it just closed itself out. Sorry. Sorry. Alright. See, that's where we got with Ricasa. I'm going to bring the tang in closer. I'm going to bring that set down for the tang right here. Bring it up. You know, I'm going 
going to have about that much of a recosity. Sorry, I had the damn camera pointed at the roof while I was working on the Ricasso. That's what I'm sorry for. Sorry for being a dumbass. My bad! Yeah, I won't let it happen again. Bad team! Bad team! Point the camera down. Sorry, I, I, there, I punished me. Had a good shot of my hat. You like my hat? Oh, smoky moonshine distillery. Went up there and took the tour. Well, I got the grinder situation somewhat sort of rub. I've got the grinder working. Like I said earlier, it's a badass grinder. I love it. But I don't have my large contact wheel still. And I need that. Main, one of the orders, one of my oldest orders that I got, I, one of the reasons I bought the grinder when I got the tax return, because it's one of the orders I got. I got several knives in an order, and it allowed me to afford to buy a grinder. And it was a predicated order to say that, you know, I'm going to make these knives, I'm ordering this grinder, when the grinder comes in, I'll work on these knives, and the one thing I need for the grinder the most is still not fucking here. But other than the, uh, that the grinder's What's the biggest seller out of my shop? My hammers. I make classic cross beans. You know, like here's the classic cross beans that I make. And then I make the Brian Brazil style round and hammers. These are my best sellers that you have right here. That and punch sets. Uh, I sell 10 piece punch sets. And those sell pretty good. And the range here. It's not blowing in yet, so we're going to keep going. The, the Gladius has a Ricasso, but not so much like... Once I do the grinding, you won't see the Ricasso. The, the blade won't stick out past the Ricasso once I do the grinding. But there is a space from the bottom of the blade where the sharpness ends to the guard, which is technically called a Ricasso, and that's what I'm forging in right now before I do the set downs for the tank. So, yes, that is a new touch mark. I do not. It still hasn't even been delivered to him. Once again, 
stops this area here's the ricasso but i still gotta narrow this bad boy up see how wide this thing is this is pretty wide for a gladius so by the time i narrow it up and take the weight off and sharpen and everything all it's going to stick out is maybe that much and then the space between the where the edge stops and the guard Maybe it's some repros that I was, some reproductions that I was looking at when I was looking them up and getting measurements and everything. I think it'll look cool anyways, right? Yeah, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Hot damn, boy, you got them all. <laughs> I think he's just trying to get me to come down there. I'd love to. I really would. Really would. Happy Easter, man. We'll see you, man. Happy Easter. Uh, one day soon, once all this shit's over with, I'm definitely making a trip down to Perkins Creek Forge. Hang out with more Josh. Right, it is mine. Well, hopefully, when I'm done with it, one you guys will buy, and this fucker will be yours. <laughs> Richard Edwards, what's up, man? I wonder where you was. I hadn't seen you this morning. How you been, brother? Hope you're doing well. Happy Easter. This is the first time I've actually worn a hole in a glove and not burnt a hole in it. I've actually managed to save these and keep them from getting burnt for so long that they wore a hole through. Not through a seam, because the seam's right there. See, the seam didn't come undone. It wore a hole in that way. Yeah. Well, 
Black Raven Forge. Happy Easter. Stay safe. You out of here. start grinding to seat the guard on it and all that stuff. But a bunch of hand claps. What do we got here? Support our community. Smush that like button. $25 from Richard Edwards. Thanks, man. And Richard, I look forward to working with you on what we discussed, man. I think that's going to be cool. Just let me know when you're ready, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's better than having a love in my hole. Uh, Sam Towns, we'll see you, man. He's moving in tomorrow already on us. Another 19 minutes, it'll be tomorrow for him. Cheerio. That's a good lad. Penny. Penny was in Yamas' stream earlier. I don't think she comes in mine anymore. She don't like me no more. Hell, nobody likes me anymore, really, except for you guys. Sorry, guys. You're stuck with me. Thanks, man. I get compliments on this shirt every time I wear it. Yeah, man, I know. You've been meaning to try to tell me that everybody pushes hate to me. You don't want to fight me anymore. And frankly, that's just pouring salt in the damn wound. Don't tell me you still like me, man, because that's an insult to hell.
Tolerate, okay. Tolerate. Later, Dana. I'm getting hot. Forge of Chris. You got that fancy ass grinder now. Forge of Chris and then grind it. There you go. Made a Chris before. Rain like hell out here now, boys. Plain spoken and forth right to polite and snooty. Preach, brother, preach. God, tell me how it is. Don't tell me what you think I'll hear. Shit. Be honest with me. I heard my damn feeling she was probably right. You know what I mean?
far so good. We still look dry. Aside from all this moisture on my head and sweat. Look at all the steam coming off of it. We'll see you, James. Back to hell. You better hunker down, Josh. We got some fucking storms coming our way. A whole southeast is getting ready to get pummeled today and all night tonight. Bad storm. Bad storm. Sully, man, thanks for hanging out. Drive safe, brother. It's good to see you. Look at all the steam coming off my head. No, I'm not making a two-handed glass. It's a lot bigger. All the dimensions are exaggerated right now, are really pronounced because you got all the grinding still to do. Who knows? I might change what I'm making and just put it on a pole. Long ass tang like that. Stick it down into a pole shaft and make a long pole arm with a sword on the end of it. No, it's not an extra long handle. How would you make a touch mark? Uh, go to work for a couple days, earn 200 plus dollars, and pay Maria Hanukkah and them to engrave you one. That's what I did. Well, mine was a gift, actually. I didn't pay for mine. Mine was a gift. 
big thank you to Matt and David Timmy Allen's here, uh, Hubcap. Uh, but that's where it came from, was rehaunting. It's not easy to make a touch mark. Make it look cool. Put us a nice pommel, ball pommel on there and a pommel nut. Let's put our touch mark in. They're not, I'm not going to put the touch mark in until I get ready to, you know.
camera has 10 inches in what they say, I guess I need to be a porn star. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course, this isn't for children anyways. I make that clear. Letter stamps is what I did until I got my touch mark. That's why Rob was fussing earlier if I had a new touch mark because his hammer just says CLF in it. I have not. It's Sunday. Uh, I plan on going into town tomorrow and I'm going by the post office. I haven't went anywhere other than fishing and here. Staying away from public. But I plan to go tomorrow to the post office. I got some things to take care of. I'll check my PO box tomorrow to see if it's in there. If it's in there, move. tools to become a damn special edition or worth something later on down the road you better hold your breath all right well.
makes it thick that thick of a pair of tongs. Hello, Olivia. How are you? Yeah, I mean, hell, what better way to social distance than fish? I mean, personally, if you go somewhere, you're right up, again, up on top of somebody fishing, you're fucking doing it wrong. <laughs> I don't see nobody out there fishing. There ain't nobody within five miles of me where I'm going to fish at. Well, probably, probably, probably ain't nobody within a mile of me where I'm fishing at. Well, I mean, yeah, if you on like a river or something like that where the walleye are running or salmon fishing, yeah, but if you're going out on the bank or out on your boat, stay the hell away from whoever you want, right? I haven't decided what I'm using for animal material yet. fishing this morning. I always complain. Don't ever catch what you want though, do you? Dance around the fish on the other end of that bag.
How's that look? Nice and straight. Hell yeah, Jeremy, send me some oak barrels and spalted oak. That'd be awesome. Send me a message. I'd love smoke barrel. got for you guys today looking at two and a half pound round hammer flat round hammer all right you know where to get them yeah i've bought steel from new jersey steel bearing oh yeah a lot of people buy from them them jants uh pops knife supply places like that so all right guys let me Hold up this thing one more time so you can see where we're at with it. That's the hammer mark right there that I think is going to be a difficult bitch to get out. A misplaced rounding hammer mark. Because you see the rest of the bevels are pretty well planished. You can see the ridge right there. This is the point where the ridge starts right here. Mm -hmm. That ridge goes all the way down the center. And I got that one goofy ass. Oh, just fuller it. Ah, I don't know if I've ever seen a Gladius with a fuller in it. 
If it comes down to it, though, I might. Like I said, I'm going to narrow this bad boy up because this, this thing is as wide as my hand. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to narrow it up anyways. It's probably going to take three quarters of an inch off the width or so. And then that's going to make my bevels thicker, which means I'll be able to, with the proper bevel geometry, probably get that hammer mark out once I pull my bevels all the way up to the medial ridge. So as far as forge though, that's as far as I'm going with the forging. The rest of it can be dealt with on the grinder. And if it comes down to me needing to, you know, put a fuller in it, I've got everything I need to put a fuller in it. Let me ting, I put my touch mark there. This is where I put my touch mark is going right here. Once I'm done doing all the grinding and everything. But I see what you're saying. But no, I'm not going to put my touch mark up there where the medial ridge needs to be because then it's just going to look like shit. You ain't gonna, you know. But I like what you're thinking. <laughs> Easy way to cover it up. And no, I won't be cheating and putting a weld on my blade. I don't do that kind of shit. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate the super chats, guys. I really do. Times are especially tired right now, so the super chats really, really are appreciated. So thank you kindly for those who've given. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out and watching. Your support, as always, is very much appreciated. So we'll see you later next Sunday. Hopefully, uh, shop's still standing after tomorrow or tonight. It's supposed to be some gnarly-ass storms. We'll see. Y'all have a great week. Uh, we'll catch you throughout the week on some other live streams and stuff. So take care. We'll catch you on the next one.